There we go. So the first thing you guys are gonna make. Oh, does everybody have an eraser? If you have an eraser, come and get an eraser. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a very light line, a horizontal line in the center. Let me show you a sample of what it might look like. This is what we did the previous period. It's gonna look something like that, the simple one. Um, this is a two point perspective we did in R2, a little bit more detail. Um, here's another one point perspective where the vanishing point is off to the side. So it doesn't have to be in the center. Um, and here's a one point perspective of inside of a room, which we will do in the future. A room, your own room, you're gonna do your own room. So we're gonna start remembering how your room, your room, uh, your room looks like. Okay. And of course, uh, one point perspective from uh, sky view. Okay. We're gonna keep it simple. So make sure your ruler is parallel to the paper, the edges of the paper. You know what parallel means? Anybody? For close? Then are yeah, lines that never meet, right? So this line, make it very light because you're gonna erase most of it. Very, very light, okay? Because we're gonna make buildings and we're gonna erase that line. So make a line, a horizontal line in the middle of the page and let's put a point in the middle and this is our vanishing point. Okay, our vanishing point. Are we good? Right? Easy cheesy? Okay. Continue with the simplicity. We're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna line it up from the point to the corner of the paper. Okay. There we go. Same thing on the other side. This one you can make dark. Only the horizontal line is the one that's light. And here we go. Oh, I moved. There we go. Okay, so start using your, your imagination. This is actually a road that goes off into the distance. See? And this is our ground, and this is our sky. And this is the horizon line where the ground meets the sky. Ever been to a beach, na playa? You know, where the water meets the sky? That's the line. But sometimes you can't see the line because there's mountains and things obstructing the view. Okay. So now that we have our line, I'm gonna create the curve. And the curve is that bump that rises from the street to the sidewalk, okay? It can be done below or above, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make it below, okay? So I'm gonna take my ruler, line it up to my vanishing point, and make a line about that white and I'm gonna do the same thing on the on the other side okay and that's gonna be a little bump in a minute we're gonna do our sidewalk now you guys if I'm going too fast let me let me know but uh, I'll, I'll take a pause right here okay Moving on, now I'm gonna make the sidewalks. And the sidewalks are the same way I made these, only a bit wider. Take my ruler, line it up to my point, make a line this way, and a line the other way. Okay? So 
So moving on to the lines on the road. So instead of instead of keeping my ruler perfectly straight, I'm gonna angle this ruler and you'll see why in a minute. But remember that details are more noticeable when they're closer to us. So the lines on the road are, are no exception. And as they go off into a distance, these lines are gonna get smaller. So here I go. I'm gonna start with a long line. And each time, this line is gonna get shorter and closer. You see that? These are longer and they start getting shorter and shorter as they go off into the distance. Now I'm gonna make these lines a little bit wide. That's why I did, that's why I didn't do my lines perfectly straight because I'm going to do this on the other side and I'm gonna make my lines the same way I did the first ones only on the other side until they feel like they meet together and then I'm gonna close these off with horizontal lines and there we go Okay, so once done with the lines on the road, I'm gonna make the lines on the sidewalk. Okay, and the lines on the sidewalk are also gonna be parallel to the horizon line. And just like the lines on the road, they're gonna get closer to each other as they go off into the distance. Okay, here I go. So, keeping my ruler straight, I'm trying. I'm trying to compare my ruler to my lines, so I can. So my line is my ruler is perfectly straight, and I'm gonna do both lines on the sidewalk at the same time. See, and I'm continuing doing that all the way up, but keeping in mind that these lines are gonna get closer to each other as they go off into the distance. Oops, trying to keep my ruler straight. That's why I use a transparent ruler so I can compare. Not, not quite what it wanted. Tricky, it's tricky. And then at some point, I'm gonna ditch my ruler because I can. I feel like I can freehand it. Right here. Sort of like that. See that? It's a lot of lines back here. All right, so that's our street with our sidewalk, sidewalks. It's time to make a building. Are you all ready? We're just waiting for A, B. All right, so I wanna start making a building, an easy building here on my left side. 
and I start by taking my ruler, making it perfectly vertical, as vertical as I can get, and I'm gonna start a line here at the sidewalk, go past my horizon line, and stop somewhere there, like that, okay? Once you finish this line, you're gonna make two horizontal parallel lines here and here this way. Okay, here I go. Trying to have my ruler straight, line here. And line here. And now I erase this line that I told you to make very light because we no longer need it because this is a solid wall blocking that horizon line. You see that? All right. So now I would normally do the one on the bottom but it's already done for me from the sidewalk. So now I'm gonna do the corner up top here, taking my ruler from this corner and to the vanishing point, lining it up. And I'm gonna make a diagonal line. Now, I'm not gonna make this line very long. Because if I were to continue this line to the vanishing point, it would seem that that building goes on forever. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to I'm not going to I'm going to stop. And then once I stop, I bring it down with a vertical line. Like this. And there we go. And I erase this line that I no longer need because now it's a solid building. Like that. All right. I'll wait for you all to finish. Moving on. I can make doors and windows, but I'm going to hold on yet. Okay. I'll come back to make windows and doors. I'm going to make a building over here now. The same way I did it. Slightly different. So you can see the variations. So this building right here. Actually, I'm going to start it closer to my paper, the edge of that paper over here, and I'm actually gonna make it taller. Here I go. Start my vertical line. Almost all the way to the top of the paper. All right. Monday? Actually, slightly in front, yeah, by a, by a little bit. Yeah, because if I line it up, it is a bit lower, so it will be in front by just a bit. Not much. And of course, I'm going to make line lines this way, my, ver my horizontal lines here at the corner and up top. Oops, right here. There you go and erase that line. I don't need it anymore. And now we see part of the wall. We don't see as much wall as this one, but we see some, okay? So what's the next step? Yes, just very good, Jezebel. We actually line up a ruler from this corner to the vanishing point. And I'm going to make a line and I'm careful not to make it all the way to the point, but I'm going to make it quite long, longer than the previous one. And then of course, I'm going to bring it down with a, with a vertical line. And once I bring it down, 
I'm going to erase that horizon line that I no longer need. And now we have two buildings across each other. Okay? I'll let you all. Now, these buildings that we have here are our main buildings. These are the buildings we're going to focus and put a lot of effort and detail because these are the first ones we see. I'm going to show you how to make more buildings in, uh, in the back, but they're not going to be as detailed as these. So about 60-70% of your work will be done with just the ones here in front. Okay? In fact, I should make a tiny a tiny one back there so you can see that the little ones don't take as much work, but you do, the rules still apply. So check it out. I'm going to make another building behind way behind way in back of this building. So this one's overlapping that building, right? And we already have overlap if we do this. So I like to do these what I call in five simple steps. Okay, five lines will create another building in the back. So here we go. Here's line number one. So line number one is creating that vertical line that we always begin with, right? That's line number one. Line number two and three are these lines. Well, this will be number two. And it's not going to be as big as this one, but it's going to be there. Okay, so there. This is line number two. And line number three is to bring it down. So it's basically a rectangle. Got it? One, two, three. Simple. Right? Line number four is the one that lines up to the point. So line up to the corner and number four to the point. Okay? And then number five is the one that closes up this building. Five lines, and we got a building. Okay, I'm going to do another one over here without the numbers and the arrows. Here we go. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four to the point. And number five down. See? except it's a mirror image of this one. Now, you can make several tiny buildings all around back here, and this still will count for your seven to 10 buildings you need for your project. So not all seven buildings have to be this size, and it will be impossible because where will you fit them? You understand? Okay. So moving on to um, let some details here. I'm gonna add a window, a door, a hallway over here. Some details. Here we go. How to make a door? Well, I'm gonna start my door with a vertical line here. Okay, and then from the end of this line, I'm going to line up my ruler to the vanishing point again, like so. I'm going to make that line there, that angle line, 
and then I'm gonna bring it down and there you go it's, it's the same thing as uh, this right here basically right or well, this over here but notice the trend all these lines line up to the point the vanishing point now if you made these two wide you can do a simple vertical line in the middle and you got yourselves double doors got it okay I'll wait for you all to finish okay how to make a window well it's very similar to the door except I don't start from the ground from the edge of the sidewalk I start a little bit higher like that and then my bottom my top and my bottom of the line line up to the vanishing point like so like that see and then I close it off with, a, with another vertical line and I just made myself a window and of course you can add details to it a frame Reflection, you can add doorknobs. You know, over here, we can do a dumpster. Your imagination is a is a lim is a limit. Or it can be an ice machine. A right. couple of trash cans. You decide as we go on. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do over here is a, a hallway entrance, maybe a couple of windows, things like that. But this building is quite tall. So what I'm going to do is going to split it in two different buildings. And it's as simple as lining up your router to the point. And that's pretty much it. Check it out. I take my ruler, I line it up to my point, all I got to do is align there and over here a horizontal line and now I've made myself a two-story building. Simple as that. You can keep it one story if you want or you can go ahead and make it like me. All right, so now I'm going to make myself a hallway entrance and I'm going to take two vertical lines, one here and one over here, right, like that. And then check it out, two horizontal lines. Or it could be a garage. It looks big enough for a garage entrance. One line here. And one line there. And now, you know, you can imagine a car going in there or a shopping center. This could be the display window, right? Yeah, quitando, uh, here are the mannequins. or so on and so forth. You get creative. Okay? And you just keep on adding stuff. Make, you know, making sure you follow those those rules of the vanishing point. Okay? When you have master, you can make this freehand. hand. 
See the windows on the buildings? Let's say I want to make build win windows on the buildings. Even those windows have to follow the vanishing point rule. And over here, they're just horizontal. Because this is the wall that we see in front of us. You understand? Now you can always look up this video on YouTube or more videos like it. Okay, here's a billboard. Even the billboard has to match right here. This is a billboard or something like it. Like I said, your creativeness is your limit. Here's another building here. And I'm just following these lines that I already made. I'm going to make a tiny building here. There's my door. So all these tiny buildings count for a building. So I already have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as they go off into the distance, they just get smaller and smaller. Or they can get taller too. Okay, well that'll do.